So welcome back to a quick function block diagram. So here we go, application, we'll uh, add a function block diagram. So add another POU. So uh, function block, block diagram. So there we go, it's a program. We want function block diagram, so we add it. So as before, if uh, we're gonna get it to run, we need to uh, add it into the main task. So we're going to call the function block diagram. Here we are. So there it is. Done. It's added in. So again, no variables, no local variables. So I'm going to I'm going to borrow the ones or yeah, grab the ones from the, uh, the structured text. We're going to need another another variable here. But, uh, so here we go. Now toolbox. You'll notice that. It's changed. So in here we've got all sorts of different ones of function block diagram that we can use. So I'm going to grab a to and put and and drop it over here. Now I should be able to start typing in here. So ITCH switch one and it should be it's happy. It's got switch one. So again in here if I type study I switch two, hit enter. We don't have it defined already, so it's asking me what it is, and here we have switch two. Now we want lamp one on the output here, so I just want to put okay. So there's no nothing driving it. So being function block diagram, we can either access that somewhere else as a bit of ladder, or we can put an output on the end of it. So here we have inputs, returns, jumps, assignments. So assignment is what we want. We're going to assign the output of that block. So in here, and it's going to be, we assign it to lamp1. So there we go, lamp1, done. So that's a very simple AND and function block diagram. So if I have a look at the, uh, the visualization here, um, and I'm just going to put this in a split window so we can see what we're doing. So I'm going to uh, delete this lamp. We're going to use the one lamp in here. So we're just going to change the properties of these. So we go in here, we'll pick up the properties. Okay, see it's on PLC program switch one. So we want to change that. We want uh, function block test lamp one. And I, oh, not lamp one, you've got that wrong. Yeah, switch, switch, we, we don't want a lamp, we want uh, we want switch one, that's better. And we want this one for switch two. So see it's structure, structure, ST test. So we want to change over to function block test and we want the lamp that's in function block test. We don't want uh, structured test text. So function block, so if we check that, our properties, Okay, let's just pin that out. That's interesting. Switch to. Not quite sure why it hasn't changed in there, but uh, obviously I needed to delete it first. So, so function block, function block, and we need the function block. So obviously uh, it didn't take for some reason. So there we have the lamp. So now we can move that back to auto hide so we can see what's happening. We'll download this into the into the device and we'll have a look at it. Log on and download. So here we have no errors. It's in and the visualization will complain we're not running yet. So we start that up. Now we adjust that so we can uh, see everything happen. So here it's running uh, already, so we didn't have to start it with the debug. So here we connect the switch. So you see it immediately change over here. And again, click the switch and we get our lamp on, just like that. So yeah, that's uh, as easy as function block diagram is. So again, we could extend this out. We could put ors, nots, you know, build an entire logic structure here from uh, various inputs. So this uh, allows you to, to uh, you know, it's often referred to as the electronic engineers diagram, function block diagrams, often very good at doing analog control. So here's the uh, 
visualization. So over here in the uh, the toolbox, yeah, you've got that's the visualization. We'll go over here. We should have yeah, there's a whole raft of uh, varying blocks that are built. And again, if you've got specific control you need to do yourself, obviously with uh, you can build your own function blocks and then you can uh, deploy them. So uh, where we picked our uh, programmable organization unit over here earlier, uh, you'll remember that when we ask for a new one, add object, um, POU, we've got the option to make our own function blocks. So we can add our own custom functions and function blocks and then call them from the, uh, the other POUs. So that's function block diagram. There we have it.